Okay, we're good. We're gonna get started, I think. Um, my name is Luke, I actually live in the house right behind here. And this is my brother, Dale. Um, we're excited to play, we were here last year and saw them perform. And then Paul asked and said, hey, do you guys wanna open for us? So we'll gladly open for Paul and his band. Um, that's absolutely not true. So the other thing is, we're running our own sound, so if you can't hear us or we're too loud, either of the two, you just tell us and we'll turn it down and turn it up. If you're too loud, just cover your ears and scream and run away. And yeah, do a lot of like ear covering and we'll just take that as a, as a thing. But uh, a brother duo, we go by the band name Making Bacon. Um, that's apostrophe after the, it's not making bacon, but making bacon, yeah. right? Yep, making bacon. And this is our second show of all time. So, <laughs> no, we're super happy. Okay. Well, I taught the weeping willow how to cry. And I showed the clouds how to cover up that clear blue sky. And the tears are cry for that a woman are gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Well, I met her accidentally in St. Paul, Minnesota. And it tore me up every time I heard that draw, southern draw. Then I heard my dream was back and downstream to Fort in Devonport. And I followed you, Big River, when you called. Well, I taught the weeping willow how to cry. And I showed the clouds how to cover up that clear blue sky. And the tears that cried for that a woman are gonna flood you, Big River. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Mando. She's been here, but she gone, low she gone. And I found a trail in Memphis, but she just walked up the block. She was a few right rounds, and she went on down along. Well, I told her we been well how to cry. And I showed the clouds how to cover up that clear blue sky. And the tears are cry for that woman are gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Now don't you bow down my bed together um and then he left the band so uh we formed making bacon making bacon well no making bacon was our intermission band the official intermission band of our bluegrass band <laughs> to play all like the old classics we were too embarrassed to play as kids now we kind of love them so so okay yep um Oh, this nine pound hammer, nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. It's a little too heavy. But for my side, but for my side, but for my side. Well, on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll where the wheels won't go? I'm going to the mountain. Down in this tunnel. 
sun. Liquor and liquor, like mine. Rings like silver, shines like gold. Rings like silver, shines like gold. Middle song was that uh this next song is a punch brothers song um to, uh chris Thiele, he's a mandolin player he's like the best mandolin player in the world he he also played a band nickel creek if any of you guys know who they are but this is a punch brothers song that we attempt to play or probably shouldn't attempt to play but Nikki has a volume. Is it too loud or too quiet? Or... I think it's good. It's okay. Good. Leave it as it. As is the worst, the worst sign you can give in yeah. music is you're like up. <laughs> like this is the right sign. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Here's the Beatles song. Thank you. 
So that's like the uh, bluegrass, uh, uh, it's like the pride of the bluegrass world. If you haven't seen it, George Clooney and um, George Clooney, uh, <laughs> enough said. Maybe like 15 years ago, maybe Sorry. longer, 20 years ago, a Coen Brothers movie. Um, but I would say when we were kids, we would play, we started bluegrass when we were like, I was seven, he was nine. And we were super embarrassed to play bluegrass because none of our friends knew what it was and banjos were not that cool. And then Old Brother Art Thou came out and it was like, we played the greatest music of all time. We started just like carrying our instruments around. And, uh, so this is our ode to that. This is, uh, if you've seen it, there's, there's one funny song and, and we appreciate it. It's not the main song. No, no, it's not Man of Kind of Star. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that from the start. Sunday, they got him in the jailhouse way downtown. He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. And I told him once or twice to stop playing cards and shooting dice. He's in the jailhouse. Now. See you there, man. Lee. We're in the jailhouse now. 
And I told the judge right to his face, I don't want to be in this place. We're in the jailhouse now. Yeah, I did. Never yodel in public. Yes, you have to. <laughs> we used to do that song a little lower, and then Luke's like, we should do it higher. And then I was like, I did the yodel at work, and I was like, this is not going to go well. Believe to achieve, though. I like it. Believe to achieve. Okay. This is a straight bluegrass song, faster one. You can tell we like the really slow, <laughs> we like the lazy songs. <laughs> it fits us. Don't wanna work on the railroad. Don't wanna work on no farm. Lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. a fiddle player, so the second it gets more <laughs> faster than lazy speed, I'm out of water. The uh, It's hard to make a set list um, because these songs are like a minute and a half long. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how does this, how does this um, Since we're brothers, we played a lot of different music bands, and this song we discovered, Luke took like a mandolin class online or something, and it was one of the songs that they taught, and <laughs> Every once in a while, people come across something in their life that's truly meaningful, right? <laughs> something that just defies their, defines their existence, gives them purpose, uh, rallies all of your faculties towards one great and ultimate end. For us, it was this song. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. It's called the Salty Dog Blues. <laughs> Trigger in a 
standing normal person all of these things are my imagination <laughs> so blame me okay this is our last song this is our last one. <laughs> i'm sorry you think people would have enough dignity not to do that in public <laughs> we go the complete opposite okay this one's a serious song this is a serious song we go from that song to this song this, i should the, imagine what i said before the last song just apply it to this one <laughs> anyways thanks a lot for playing paul appreciate yeah. it appreciate it paul <clears throat> We grew up, my dad loved country music, so uh, we did not up until kind of recently. And this is an old country song that we heard again a couple years ago. We're like, hey, this song's sweet. So there's our tearjerker. <laughs> but nobody ever cries to it. <laughs> <laughs> <Ready>? <laughs> driver never even saw the stop sign. Eighteen wheelers can't stop on a dime. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows. It's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. Well, that farmer left to harvest home in 80 acres. He threw love for growing things in his young son's heart. And that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children. Did her best to give them all a better start. And that preacher whispered, can't you see the promised land? As he put that bloodstained Bible in that hooker's hands, there are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them, heaven only knows. It's not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you when you go. story that my preacher told last Sunday as he held that bloodstained Bible up for all of us to see he said bless the farmer and the teacher and the preacher gave that Bible to my mama who read it to me there are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway why there's not four of them, 
I guess now we know It's not what you take When you leave this world behind you It's what you leave behind you when you go It's what you leave behind you When you go Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, Joe. And Tanya.